It's incredibly exciting to be able to have Web Summit in Qatar for the first time ever. Uh, we know that Qatar is very deeply invested in the idea of building a startup economy and is putting real resources behind making that a reality. So it's a great time for startups and investors to be here at the cusp of what is about to be, uh, I think, a really sort of transformative moment for Doha and for the startup ecosystem. Uh, and of course, being in Qatar means that we have access not just to Doha, but we have access to the entire broader Middle East region, the 350 million plus person Arabic speaking market, access to Asia and access to uh, Africa as well because of the incredible flow of people and the ability for folks to be able to enter visa free. We have more than 100 startups coming from Africa, for example, and I think that that shows, you know, the dynamism and the draw of what we're really going to be seeing in Doha in February. One of the great things about Web Summit is that you have speakers and, and um, speakers, investors of startups that represent basically every single part of industry. Of course, the number one thing that everybody's talking about right now is AI and how AI is transforming the technology industry. Uh, so you're going to probably see a lot of discussions around that. But I think that what makes that really interesting is its application to various parts of the sector. So we know that we're going to be talking as always about fintech. We know we're going to be talking as always about marketing. We know that we're going to be talking as always about uh, you know, SaaS or B2B applications. But one of the exciting things too is then as we think about AI, for example, as a cross-cutting issue, where does that land in terms of uh, how is that applied? What does that mean for the future of your business? What does that mean for the conversations on stage? It'll be a big part of it, I'm sure. But I think that some of the things that people can look forward to that are a little bit more structured and a little bit more planned are things like our master classes where you can go and learn real skills that are relevant to building your business, things like our mentor hours where you can meet with people who have expertise in the sort of things that you need as a startup to be successful. Uh, our night summit, which is always one of the favorite parts of Web Summit. After the day is over, we all get together to enjoy each other's company, meet more informally, enjoy great food, perhaps uh, some exciting surprise events. Uh, so I think that there's quite a lot. You think the best way to think about Web Summit is you show up in the morning, you have meetings and meet people all day long, and then you enjoy yourselves through the evenings and you get up and you do it all over again the next day.